Today is Thursday, August 15. WNBA is back today for their second half of the season. We also have half of a slate of MLB. I did post my two man for day one of the Latter Day Challenge on my Twitter and Instagram and obviously on my Discord. Uh, so follow me there if you're interested. I do have a couple props for WNBA. I am going to take it light on WNBA. Uh, they have been off for over two weeks due to the Olympics. Uh, so I'm going to take it as a season opener for them. Uh, so some of these players may be juiced under or juiced up uh, depending on their lines. So let's get started for MLB. First game is about to start and it has one of my favorite props and that is Jose Quintana. At 5 strikeouts, I have him projected to get 6 or more against the Oakland A's. You can also look into his fantasy score. Zach Wheeler, I do have him under at 6.5. For some reason, he does have trouble with the Nationals. I believe in 10 starts, he's only gotten over 10, uh, three of those 10 starts at seven strikeouts or more. I do have him projected between six and eight. Uh, so it's gonna be a sweat for this one, for Zach Wheeler at 6.5 or less. But I'm gonna go with Daily Grand Fantasy, has him juiced under at 54% hit rate. Same thing with his fantasy score. Let's head on over to pitcher strikeouts, Tobias Myers. I have them under as well. Needs six against the Dodgers. Uh, Dodgers are at full strength now with Mookie Betts now. Their lineup is more complete. Uh, so at five strikeouts, needs six. I do have the under. I still think he's going to get four. Worst case scenario pushes. Jack Flaherty, I do like the over against the Brewers. Uh, Jack Flaherty has been awesome since he joined the Dodgers. He's gone well over seven strikeouts in his three starts. Logan Wynn might pivot to his pitching outs. Max Free, I will take a spot a shot on him uh, on a separate slip for pitcher strikeouts over. Zach Eflin, possible another one, had five strikeouts. I believe he was at 5.5 last night. Uh, Red Sox do strike out a lot, so I might take a shot with Eflin. Cody Bradford, uh, I haven't done any research on him, but right off the bat, I do like him at 4.5 against the Twins. Uh, usually his line's at 5, 5.5. He is making his third start. He is coming off a major injury, uh, but he is a strikeout pitcher when he's healthy. I believe his last couple of starts, he's gone over five strikeouts, I believe in two of those matchups. He had five against Boston and seven against the Yankees. His first start back, he had two, but he was limited on innings. So you may want to target this one. I might take a shot on him at 4.5. I might include him on my free slip. Uh, so you guys may have a promotion so make sure to check your promotions tab. You may have a free entry. Let's head on over to hits allow and see if we can find any value. Everything else, everything is a Gobby or a Demon. Pitching outs. Mitchell Parker is the only one that stands out for me against the Phillies. 15.5. I see him going to five and two thirds, possibly six innings. He's a decent pitcher for the Nationals, young rookie. Uh, but as you can see, pit pretty decent against the Brewers. So I might take a shot with him. He's probably the only one I like for pitching outs. Mitch Spence, you can get him at 16.5 and other platforms. Obviously 16.5, it's his gobby here, but that game's about to start. Let's head on over to earn runs allowed. Everything is a gobby or a demon. Check other betting sites such as Underdog, uh, Chalkboard, or Sleeper. They have definitely more lines. PricePix just wants to stir you into lines to bet on. Uh, they make everything else a demon or gobby. Uh, so don't just take what's available on PricePix. Shop around. Go to Underdog. Chalkboard and Sleeper, personally, those are the best for MLB. They have good lines. Uh, underdog, it's good for everything, but sometimes they do have some decent lines. Price is just getting very picky, very strict on their lines. And then when you find some value, they either take it off the board or they make it into a gobby or demon. Uh, so shop around, go to underdog, sleeper, chalkboard, even parlay play is decent. Uh, but this is the only value I can find for MOB today. Some of these games are about to start, so I'm not sure this video will get out on time. Let's head on over to WNBA. Like I mentioned, I am going to go light on WNBA, but a one prop that stands out for me is Raquel Jackson. Points. Most likely, I'm going to be pivoting to her fantasy score. 
so I'll be taking that. That's probably my top pick for WNBA. Another one I like is Ariel Atkins. Same thing with her, either her points at 13.5, she's been averaging 15 before the break, or her fantasy score. I'm going to take a shot at her fantasy score. She's been averaging well over 30. Those two are my favorite for WNBA. Let's see if we can find any others. Like I mentioned, I'm going to treat WNBA today very light. I'm going to treat it as a season opener. They've been off more than two weeks. Uh, so popular plays like back then was Angel Reese, uh, Brianna Stewart. Might take a shot on Chenity Carter. Points. She was a leading scorer for Chicago. Uh, what I want to limit my slips for WNBA, but these are my top two. Uh, work them in your slips. Other than that, if you want additional slips, uh, my personal slips are on my Discord. The link is in the description below if you're interested. With WNBA, should be an action pack finish for the M uh, MLB and WNBA seasons. NBA and NFL just right around the corner. Uh, we hit a perfect slip on KBO last night. Uh, we do have two slips running for soccer as well. Esports, every other night we put out slips as well. Uh, so join the Discord if you're interested. It's less than a dollar. I'm there to help you. Uh, you can tell my slips or you can get your favorite props. I do have Daily Grind Fantasy and Outlier and other tools to help me to build the slips and other sources as well. Other than that, please like, subscribe, and comment. Appreciate the support and see you guys in the next one.